Hi everyone, Shirtlight here. Throughout most G generation games there is one constant that remains, regardless of the game, starter units. Aside from the offerings in the shop, you are usually given two or more Tornado Gundams, which is a mobile suit originated from the old SNES game by the name of SD Gundam GX, that looks like a love child of Giren's Greed, the Victory Gundam for Super Famicom, and the tile set for Dwarf Fortress. Lore-wise, the Tornado Gundam is a mysterious prototype unit that was found collecting dust in an abandoned factory. No one knows how it got there, but it was in a workable condition and so it got fielded alongside our mobile suits. This coincides with how it works in GX where it rarely appears in factories that can be captured, which allows you to use it. Going back to the G-Gen iteration of the mobile suit itself, it's a very hefty all-rounder in the early game for the most part, which is very consistent throughout the G-Generation franchise, and will generally help you get through a lot of the early game stages. Its usual loadout is a beam saber, a pair of Gatling guns underneath its arms, a beam rifle in its hand, and a scattering beam cannon in its abdomen. Additionally, it can fly, and in a lot of installments, it gets the access to the Defend command. Now, what makes it special is that in a lot of the G-Generation games, you can use it to significantly expand your roster of playable units. In all of the games, it can develop into the Phoenix Zero, and in some installments, like G-Generation Portable, World and Cross Race, you can also turn it into certain other units. This gimmick is turned up to 11 in the game's World and Overworld, where the machine can be used in the design tab as well, to an astounding effect. Since the latter has an actual English patch and as such more people play it, I'll be covering what you can do with the Overworld's iteration of the Tornado Gundam. When it comes to the development routes, you get 4 in total, with the Tornado being upgradable to Phoenix Zero at level 3, or the starter variants of the Granddaddy Gundam, the Turn A, and the Age 1 at level 4. Design wise, the list gets much longer, so I'll try to chop it up into easily digestible bits by category. Without further ado, let's get to it! There are 26 units on your production list once you start a fresh game, one of which being the Tornado Gundam, and the other 25 being early game units that can combine with it. The Core Fighter and the Ball K type will create the Zaku High Mobility Test type from the OAF MS team when combined with the Tornado. Doing a similar thing with the Type 61 tank will get you the Ego Guy. Using the Leo gets you an Ares. Zaku 1, the Zaku 2, and the Drassi will produce the GM Sniper once combined. To get the mass production gun tank, use the Egg Guy or the Magella tank. You can get the standard ball by using the Ogo or the Dop, and the Gym Command can be obtained early by combining the Gaz C or the Gaz A with the Tornado. In terms of seed entries, you can get the Jin Ha Maneuver by using the Mobius, Strike Dagger by using the Jin, and you can get the Mobius Zero by using the M1S trait. G Gundam has only one starting unit, the Bushi, which combines into Cushing. Well, after War Gundam X has two starting units, the Genies and the Dotras, which combine into Dotras Weapon and Jurek Cold Climate Type respectively. To no one's surprise, Double O has three star units. The Enf, which combines into the AEU Hellion Ground Type, PMC color, the Union Rieldo, which becomes the Tieran Ground Type, and the standard AEU Hellion that turns into the Tieran Space Type. Aside from the combinations with the starter units, the Tornado Gundam can also fill in for two combinations that require a specific unit and any Gundam in the game. If you combine the Great Zeong with the Tornado Gundam, or any Gundam for that matter, you'll make the Psycho Gundam, and in the second combination, which requires any Gundam Tornado included, and the Super Custom Zaku F2000, you can get the Gundam F90 ADS equipment. To sum it up, the Tornado Gundam is a decent all-rounder unit, which at least in world and overworld is worth keeping around, 
should you want to quickly expand the production list with the help of other starter units. If you found this one useful, feel free to click any of the usual buttons down below or throw a comment my way. I'll see you on the next one. Shirtlight, signing out.